Hey, Christ Covenant Church, it's Pastor Jason. I pray you are having a great week in the Lord and look forward to gathering this Sunday uh, to worship Jesus together. Uh, we will be back to our study in our sermon series in Hosea on uh, God being forever faithful. And uh, this week we are in Hosea chapter eight. And I'll be honest with you, as I read through Hosea chapter eight and uh, and started thinking about it, uh, this is just one of those passages I would never choose to preach. Uh, but instead we, I, uh, we preach it and we go through it because uh, we we entrust ourselves to God's word uh, that says all scripture is is God breathed and is profitable for teaching for uh, for reproof for correction for training in righteousness so that we may uh, be equipped for every good work that God has for us and so uh, yet as I start reading through and studying and praying I I start seeing. God and I start seeing my own heart and and that's what happens when we dive into God's word in faith uh, that God really starts to bring out and show us uh, what he is uh, what he is communicating in in each and every passage that we walk through and so excited to uh, do that with you hope you've appreciated the last two weeks with having our guest speakers uh, hearing about Christian adoption services and their ministry uh, getting an update from them and also having uh, Matt Felton with us uh, I've certainly enjoyed uh, sitting with my wife and sitting under the teaching of God's word, but also looking forward uh, to being back in the pulpit this Sunday. Um, I wanted to also let you know about this Saturday. Um, there are two different options for this Saturday for you. One, I hope that you've registered and you're coming to the E2 conference. Uh, we've been mentioning that for so many weeks, and it's really something that we would love for our church to be involved in because it's uh, it's our pillar region. These are our churches that uh, we are partnering together to uh, to grow in Christ, to spread the gospel, to help church plants and revitalizations. And our pillar region has grown. It was three churches when I got here, and now it's six uh, because of church planting and uh, because of another church choosing to come into our fold. And so we're thankful for that, and uh, we want to be a part of that. And so this uh, conference is about the mission of the family. It's something that we have to stay very clear on and understand understand what Jesus teaches us uh, about the family, uh, because uh, there is so much uh, coming against the family and the spiritual uh, warfare that we are in. And so hope you're coming to that. If you are not planning on being a part of the E2 conference, but you have some time on Saturday, uh, Glenn Ballard, our new family minister who starts on Monday, he's going to be bringing a trailer of, um, of furniture uh, down on Saturday, and it would be great to have uh, some extra hands to help him move some things in. And so if you are uh, available and interested at, at, on Saturday uh, at some point, uh, would you please text me? Um, you should have my my cell phone number uh, if you go to Christ Covenant Church. And if you don't have it, this is a great chance to get it. And so reach out to other people in the church. They'll give it to you. You should have my cell phone number. Reach out to me so I can then reach back out to you and let you know time and give him, give your, give you his address and all those sorts of things. And so uh, those are the two opportunities for Saturday. Uh, but I uh, hope you're doing well. Uh, we are coming down to the end of school semester for a lot of kids and families. And so let's pray uh, for them, uh, for encouragement and, uh, and uh, that they would finish strong. And uh, let's continue to look to uh, faithfully follow Jesus, uh, fall more in love with Jesus as we bask in the great unconditional love he has for us, and then uh, go out and make disciples and help others uh, become followers of Jesus as well. Uh, look forward to seeing you Sunday.